A Shade with Duke Cannon, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and what champions everywhere. It's MarvinJorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have got a shave cream in the shave den that came courtesy of viewer William Meredith. William, thank you very, very much. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is right here. We've got Duke Cannon Superior Grade Shaving Cream. This came courtesy of viewer William Meredith. We are going to build a lather with this. We're going to bowl lather with it. I'm going to use my Starry Night Lathering Bowl. I'm going to use my Green Ray Shaving Brush from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, I'm going to finish it off with uh, uh, an aloe block from Phoenix Shaving, obviously with a no-slip grip and a dry dock system. But we are going to use Duke Cannon's aftershave balm right here. This is their ice cold aftershave balm. So that's what we got going on. I'm also going to kick it off with Cube 2.0 as my pre-shave. But uh, you know what? That's what we got going on right. Oh, you know what? My razor. Uh, before I forget, we're going to be using my Phoenix Shaving. Uh, Alpha Ecliptic Slant Razor. This came courtesy of viewer William Meredith. Again, William, thank you very much. So William supplied the shave cream, the aftershave, and this absolutely spectacular, spectacular razor. We're, we're, we're using a Gillette Swede razor blade in this. We've not used anything but the Zaza razor blades that William very kindly sent. We're going to use a Gillette Swede in here this time around. Those blades came courtesy of viewer Beth Jones. Beth, thank you very, very much. Oh, yeah, and Beth also sent the Starry Night Lathering Bowl. So thank you again, Beth, for the uh, for the uh, Lathering Bowl. Uh, so you know what? Let's get right to it. i got some hot water in the uh, Lathering Bowl, in the Shaving Bowl right here that's kind of been keeping things warm. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get some of this shaving cream. I don't know how much. I, you know what? How about that much right there? Let's try that much right there. We're just going to drop that in like that, all right, and then I'm going to just wipe my hand off here a little bit. Here's my brush right here, and let's just give it a little bit of a ring, and let's see what we get in the way of a lather. Now, this can be used with a brush or without a brush, as I recall, and boy, it's just, <laughs> it's just starting right up, isn't it? My gosh, I don't think I'm going to need any more water to get this going. I'm just kind of guessing uh, how much water I'm going to need, but boy, this lathering bowl, this starry night has just seized the moment here, <laughs> hasn't it? Look at that. Look at that. My gosh, that is just... Man, I think the more I agitate this, the thicker and creamier it's going to get. I'm not going to need to add any water to this at all. Look at that. It's, it just exploded. My gosh, look, look at that. I see, I see just a, a, just a slight number of bubbles in there, which tells me I should be uh, agitating this a little more. Look at, look how much I have here. Look at this. I should agitate this a little more and to get, to, just to get those bubbles out. I mean, look at that, look at that, look at that. And boom, lather. <laughs> wow, wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. My gosh, this lathering bowl just, I mean, it just, it just picked up the baton and ran with it, didn't it? My God, I, I am just, I am, look how much I have here. My gosh. Okay, wow, we're all, <laughs> we are all set. My gosh, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. Okay, I just want to put a little bit of water on my face, as I like to do. I like to get a nice hot towel and kick my shave off with a nice hot towel. 
Okay, I got one right here. Just get that out like that. Oh yeah, here it is. Can you see the steam coming off? I don't know if you can see the steam coming off. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. Wow, 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 wow. That is beautiful. This is becoming my favorite part of the shave. <laughs> this is marvelous. If you can, start your shave off with a good warm towel. Oh. There is also a, a relaxing factor that comes in. Okay. All right. Wow. That is, that's great. I'm just going to set this aside and use this to uh, dry off my hands periodically. I'm going to set that aside like that so nothing falls off the counter. Okay. Those are the uh, Gillette Platinum uh, Swede blades that we're going to be using right there. Okay, we as I say, we already have one in there. Let me wet the face one more time. Okay, just a splash. Let's get the cube on there. And let's do some... Do some pre-shave. Okay. All right, let's rinse. Okay, we're gonna get the cube one more time. This is mentholated, activated charcoal, CK6. And just work this in for a pre shave. The first coating, the, the first application rather was to kind of to cleanse the skin, clean the whisker, degrease everything. Okay, look at that. We're all set with that. And again, gonna, this hot towel doubles as a towel to kind of dry my hands off here. All right, we're going to get some of this lather, this Duke Cannon lather here, and just paint it on. My gosh, that's marvelous. Look how look how much I have. It's a nice. Nice, creamy lather. It is lighter in consistency than a lot of other lathers I have, a lot of other shaving creams I've used. So it does have that. Again, you can use a brush. You can just use your hands and, and work it in. It seems to develop a nice, a nice creamy consistency. Again, it is a little lighter, uh, a little lighter in density, let me say. Not quite as dense as some others, but still a lot there. Really, I mean, just a, wow, that's really nice. I could just really put that on, just lay that on there. Look at that. That really does. Now, in just, in just laying it on there, the, it feels like it is getting a little thicker. Oh, I got plenty there. My gosh, I'm probably going to have to back off on the amount of cream that I take out of the tube. That's fantastic. Okay, everything's nicely snugged up. The blade's already installed. This is a slant, different kind of slant. And we're just going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. All right. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's marvelous. That is absolutely marvelous. Wow. Very, very nice, nice, mild action from this razor.
but it's very, very uh, efficient. It is aluminum, it's lightweight, and look how the lather is moving out of the way of the blade there. And again, this, this lather seemed to increase in density a little bit as I was coating it on my face, painting it on my face. Then I mentioned that I had two days worth of beard growth, two days worth of beard growth, and this razor is doing a great job. All right, now, underneath the uh, the nose here, the upper lip, this can be a little bit different than razors that have a more slim profile. Okay, so here we go. All right, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, you know what? Good. East and West is going to have to get the uh, the remainder of that. I probably got a good maybe 60%, uh, something like that. But yeah, it, it, East to West, getting in there with uh, the, 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 the side, you know, that side approach, East to West approach, we'll probably we'll get the remainder of it. All right, the first pass done, let's rinse. You know what? That's that's fantastic. My gosh, I am right on the cusp of being socially acceptable. That is really a fantastic, fantastic first pass. I credit this shaving cream, uh, but also the razor. The razor really, really is a fantastic, fantastic razor. However, uh, this shaving cream has, is giving me enough protection, enough glide. Um, again, it is... The density is is less than some other artisan shave, shave soaps you may have used, but it's still a very welcome lather. And they make this in a travel size. The Duke Cannon Superior Grade Shaving Cream comes in a travel size, as does the balm, as does this one right here, their Hot Shave, which is a shave gel. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely throw this in my dop kit and travel with this uh, for the compact uh, travel tube that they sell. And also because it's a very good shaving cream. It's performing very well. And it has a light bergamot peppermint scent. And it, it really is a, a nice scent. It is not overwhelming. It is very subtle. Look, that's really terrific. I mean, I really like how I can just paint this on and give myself a good, good protective coating here. I want to get some, especially in the upper lip there. Okay. All right, you know, let's give that a try. That's good. All right, here we go. We're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Now, with this particular razor, that... Angled head really does help guide you. It helps guide you to find the correct shaving angle. I'm just trying to lay that surface on my skin very lightly, and that really helps find the correct shaving angle. That's, re that's really very, very nice. It's like I'm riding the cap.
Now there's enough residual slickness here to where I can go over some of those areas. And boy, that's just, again, and I just dipped that and look how everything just, just, the lather just evacuates from the, from the, uh, from the razor there. That's fantastic. And again, I'm just trying to find the angle with this razor. Very easy to do with the uh, with the grain pass. Against the grain, you have to kind of uh, you know play with it a little bit to really make sure that your the surface is really uh, helping guide the uh, the razor to find that correct angle. Now here's something I just discovered, using the razor this way on my upper lip, uh, east to west, rather than this way, using it this way is a little easier, is a little milder. I mean, it was okay this way, you know, but this way was a little more agreeable. Well, that's terrific, man. That's great. All right, second pass done, let's rinse. Wow, wow, <laughs> I could say I'm done. I'm gonna do a third pass. You know what, when I laid the razor back here, I thought, ooh, you know what, but there's nothing there. I thought maybe I slipped up back there, I did not. Now, in just talking to you about this, and having rinsed, there's a lot of slickness here, a lot of residual slickness from the shave cream. That is really, really very, very nice. We're going to go ahead and just paint on a little more here. Oh boy, I got plenty here for a third pass. Like this scent a lot. I love this scent. Really nice. Amazing, just really a, a wonderful, wonderful shave cream. All right, here we go. We're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Boy, that is nice. When you when you're on that angle. And you allow that razor head to help you find the correct angle of approach for this blade. It's marvelous. I would say that... Uh, I would say the expression of riding the cap is the correct one to explain the approach of this razor. Ride the cap, so to speak, with the grain, across the grain, and against the grain. And again, uh, you know, uh, using it, well, I can't use it that way, like that. 
It's not bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad using it this way either. Pretty darn good. Now on the chin, On the chin, admittedly, it's a little easier to do it with the grain and across the grain than against the grain uh, on the chin. So I would say in other parts of the face, very easy to do the against the grain. On the, on the chin, because of the uh, uh, coming straight in, eh, you know what? It's, it's, it's something I'm going to have to get used to, to doing. Uh, it's not impossible. But right now it feels a little foreign to me because of the uh, the head for some reason. But uh, it's still I'm still able to do a little bit of it and really got a nice nice result. Third pass done. Let's rinse. Well, my gosh, that's a that's a fantastic shave. This razor blade paired up wonderfully with this razor. It is an aluminum razor. It's lighter in weight. You don't have to press down. Just let this razor head do all the work. This has been a fantastic shave. Oh my gosh. Two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. I'm not done yet. I'm just popping up here to let you know. It's a lot of slickness here. Hang on, warm water rinse. Yeah, a lot of slickness. A lot of slickness. Took a lot of rinsing, that's for sure. But boy, a nice, smooth result. Great post shave feel so far. Here's my cold water rinse. Oh, that's terrific, terrific. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, that's marvelous. What a nice result. My gosh. Little blemish right here. And you know what? I forgot all about it. And this razor and this shave cream did not aggravate that at all. And again, I thought maybe I messed up nothing. Look at that. Wow, that's great. I think that speaks to the mild quality of the uh, the safety razor. Boy, what a nice, <laughs> a nice result. The poche feel is very, very good. I can run out the door right now. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to use my Allen block or a bomb or a splash. That's how nice of a poche feel is. But we are going to use an Allen block here. The no slip grip has been replaced with a thinner band, and we're gonna have to break up my new Allen block pretty soon. But these last so long. Ah, uh, you get I get so much use out of a single Allen block from Phoenix Shaving. Just absolutely fantastic. The best Allen block bargain on the market, really. All right, here we go. Tell you what, I got a few zings. Uh-huh. Few uh-huh. Few zings here and there. That really talks speaks to the uh the efficiency and closeness of this razor. Two days worth of beard growth, and I'm uh, on my way to BBS, and yeah, I got some zinging here, meaning that this is a very, very efficient razor. Probably could have stopped after two passes, no kidding. Did a third pass to show you the uh Amount of lather, amount of uh, 
cream, not a lather I had from the shave cream. And, uh, yeah, boy, I, I think I would have been upper darn fine shave after two passes. I'm on my way to BBS. But, yeah, some, some zinging there. No doubt about it. This is a very, very efficient, efficient razor. No doubt. Let's show you how much I have here in the lathering bowl. Look at that. Again, let me set this down here very carefully. This is a, a, a rather light. It's not as dense as some other shaving creams or shaving soaps, but look at that, huh? That is really, really terrific. And there is, look at that. That is really, really terrific. Um, it's very, very nice. Again, it's not as dense, uh, but I would say that the density can probably imp be improved a little bit if uh, I back off a, on, on a little more water. Don't add as much water, a little less water. In other words, give my brush a little, um, a little more of a ring, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but boy, that's, uh, this is my first time using it in a long, long, long time. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a new shaving cream. And it did a phenomenal job. Uh, here is the Duke Cannon Aftershave Balm, the ice cold. This is a really good product. Let me make sure that this is, yeah, that's open. Okay, there, no. This is a really, really good product. I like this one a lot. I haven't used it in a while. I'm so glad it's in the shaving den again. Thank you, William Merritt. I'm going to use that much right there. And believe me, uh, this is welcome. Now, I'm going to wait a little bit because that menthol is going to kick in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. That is really nice. I'm going, to, I'm going to use a little bit upstairs. Okay, I do need a head shave, but I'm going to use a little bit of this upstairs. That's fantastic. Wow, I like this a lot. This really has a nice feel, and I think it's really doing some, it's doing my, uh, it's doing my skin some really, really, some good, yeah. That's marvelous, that's marvelous. Great shave, wow, I'm gonna use these products again. Uh, definitely great for travel when you get the travel size. Perfect, perfect, perfect for travel. Absolutely fantastic. I really, really liked using the Duke Cannon Superior Grade Shaving Cream and their Ice Cold Aftershave Balm. It's kicking in. <laughs> it's kicking. <laughs> Excuse me. It's kicking in right now. It really is. Yeah, I'm starting to get that really nice, cool feeling from it. But uh, menthol to cool, shea butter to hydrate. Yeah, I definitely get those two feelings right now. And it is alcohol-free. Reduces redness, razor, burns and bumps, and uh, tightness. Yeah, this is this is really, really terrific. I, I like this. And the shave cream, very, very good. And you know what? This razor, let me tell you something about this razor. This razor is really terrific. It's taken me a few shades to really understand the approach of uh, this razor because of this unique uh, designed razor head, the way that this razor slants in there. It's not twisted. It's not torqued. It's actually slanted in the razor head. And the razor head only goes together one way. And uh, it's just a matter of uh, a little bit of experience and practice understanding how to use that cap to find the proper blade angle. And uh, my gosh, I have gotten such, I've gotten such an efficient shave from this. This is definitely, this is BBS right now. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. This was a fantastic shave. Yeah, some zings from the Allen block, but no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. An absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave, courtesy of uh, Duke Cannon, uh, superior gray shave cream, the aftershave balm, and the Phoenix Shaving Alpha Ecliptic uh, Blue Anodized Slant Razor. All of these uh, through the generosity of William Meredith. William, thank you very, very much. 
uh, fantastic shave. Folks, I'll have links below where you can get uh, any of these items. These are really, really terrific. And this razor especially, wow, this is a great, great razor. Uh, don't let the lightweight of it fool you. This really does a fantastic, fantastic job. And the shave cream and the aftershave balm, really, really very, very good. Also know that, that a portion of the proceeds benefits U.S. veterans. So if you buy something from Duke Cannon, please know that you'll, you'll be benefiting U.S. veterans through, this, uh, through the purchase of their products. Uh, yeah, this was really terrific. Smells like accomplishment, aloe vera, aloe for relief. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed this shave. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shave gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. Please, the next time you're online, take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page, amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zeredi, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let's get this so you can see it. I'll see you again real soon.